it's Melody and guess what I have another video it's not a challenge video this time I'm working on that for you guys and today I'm doing a favorites video so I have a little bit of everything for everybody's leggings uh, I got makeup jewelry books all that stuff so I'm just throwing out my full no, this is, they're all gonna be in different groups. So right now I'm gonna start off with makeup just to get that in the way. So I'm gonna talk about makeup. I'm gonna talk about foundation. What I've been favoriting full month of November and the December is the Maybelline New York BB Cream. And this one is in Clearing Perfecto, that one. And it's in the color light to medium, Maybelline. Second favorite for makeup is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter bad boy right here. And I've been using this for two months straight, haven't stopped using it since, and I love it. It's so worth the, I think it's four dollars, you can get it at Target, any drugstore really. Um, you could probably even find it at Sephora and Ulta. This is the more affordable makeup really and I, right now I kind of go for the more affordable makeup. This right here is dynamite. So any of you guys need concealer, I highly suggest this. Really effective, the coverage is good, lasts very long. So, going with that, I used to not be a big fan of liquid liner until I tried the Revlon. The Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen, and let me tell you, it has so much control. It feels really good, very natural. So for me, since I do a lot of all, really natural to just draw on my eye. I don't go too crazy with eyeliner. I don't do any winged eyeliner. I would do that, but I feel like I would just mess up. Other than that, this thing has been a staple thing that I've been. I also use normal pencil liner, but in this case, this is what I go go right towards and ever. Now, fragrances. For a long time, I've been really loving what Brit. Bulberry, that's it, that's it. Bulberry, I love what Bulberry, the brand has in it, and I'm really picky when it comes to fragrances because my nose is sensitive, so whenever I smell a sort of thing, sometimes I'll actually get lightheaded or get a headache, and that's not really that good. So I'm really picky for the smells that I actually choose to wear. And the one that stood out to me, which I had to wait such a long time to actually get, I actually found this perfume two years ago when I lived in my old town and everything and I found this at Sephora just love the smell of it and it's it's called Brit by Bulberry and this is the ladies fragrance it has such a light smell to it I'm even gonna put it on so I can it's kind of sweet and I love this ever since I got it I've been waiting two straight whole years to get this fragrance and it was so worth it gosh I can't stop wearing it I love wearing it it's a, it's a good everyday fragrance but also a good if you're going out with your friends and it's good for that and I highly suggest get it if you can get it if you can I forgot one more thing that my fifth makeup favorite is the the EOS Bella to mint lip balm and it's really moisturizing and oh my gosh it smells to me, it smells like a cake or a cupcake. Yeah, get this if you like vanilla, something moisturizing, and it has cute packaging. I can't say I usually don't do favorites because, you know, I'm just starting out. Now we're gonna change it to jewelry. I don't really go all out with my jewelry. I kind of like to add little accents and that's it. I usually wear necklaces, or not too many rings, and if, and if I do wear any jewelry, it's for like a personal very personal reason like if it was given to me I would probably wear it because it was given to me and I like stuff that's given to me or something I buy for myself but I don't usually buy jewelry for myself and that's one of my favorites my class ring this is the class ring I have three more other things <clears throat> my two favorites which is pretty much the same thing all these necklaces that were given to me and give a shout out to my older sister who got this for my birthday I collect cameras my next favorite app is, these aren't necessarily things that, this is for people who like to um, mint their life and everything, or keep track of their life without having to share it to the world, and also book. It's those two things. And my fourth favorite is this journal. I got this, 
a coffee shop called Waddle Coffee Company. They have a nice selection of things there. It's mainly a coffee shop and you can go there and it's in the western, no, southern part of Phoenix and everything on the south side. I found this at the coffee shop. I don't know. I, just, I love that it had the beach involved and palm trees and I'm a big fan of palm trees and blue and orange. Those are like top favorite colors and everything so I really like this. That's my favorite. Really well designed. It's just an awesome thing that you can just write in. On every other page, quotes and everything, here's one of the quotes. It says, at, at the beach, life is different. Time doesn't move hour to hour, but moment to moment. We live by the currents, by the currents, playing by the tides, and follow the sun. And then my last favorite for that section is the book. It's by YouTube. So if you guys have this book, please comment. Yeah, okay. Just showed you a thing. And then it, I just steam. And it's whole memoir on her life and everything, how she started YouTube, how she got famous. It's, it's really inspirational and I'm guilty of saying I haven't touched it yet. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this. This is one of my favorites because one, beautiful inside, outside and also inside. I took a little looky and everything and she all her vlogs when um, she was talking about her book and everything the secret project that she had. You know, when she finally announced she had a book and everything and how long it took, I'm like, I need to get my hands on this because she loves tech. I love tech too. I'm kind of like 50-50. I'm a PC person, but I'm also a Mac level myself, but I don't have any Mac. I'm getting Mac at some point. If, like, I save up enough money, I want to use Mac. But I just love how she is with her viewers and everything. She's just a very inspirational fickle for me. I had to get this and yeah, so that's my favorite. I like it. If you like YouTube, you're watching YouTube since this is a YouTube video, book out, read it a little bit at Barnes and Noble or any other bookstore really. I don't know many, many other places in the UK or I don't know, but this is the tech stuff tech and hardware. Now, I really, I try to be a very handy person. I mean, being on my laptop, cameras, a whole bunch. I try to be very handy and helpful around the house. I've been loving this very handy tool. Yeah, it's this. As you can tell, the screwdriver's out because I was just tightening my mini tripod, which I'm using right now on my camera, which that's one of my favorites too. Then the NX4300 camera by Samsung. If you guys like Canon, Nikon and everything, this completely blew my mind when I got this camera. The NX4300, it's so, it's mirrorless. It's a mirrorless DSLR camera, um, but you can also connect it to your phone just like a GoPro. And so that's handy. So if you people are like, you like to use your old photos that you take on the camera and just you wanna have access to it, like the GoPro, so you can easily just Instagram it, this camera is for you. And not to mention, it has a selection of lenses. I have two lenses for this camera, my 50 millimeter lens, which I'm using right now to film, and then my 200 millimeter lens, which I use for close-up shots and everything and landscape, other stuff like that. And they're really high quality. They're pretty high quality for something that came into a bundle. Came with the charger, the bag, the Samsung bag, and I got this at Sam's Club, and it was a, the best bundle ever. I'm so happy I actually got two lenses instead of one. My original camera that I used to photograph with was the 30D by Canon. It was a great camera. I had a Tamron lens. The only flaw was uh, it was a used Tamron lens, so it was kind of dirty. And at one point, I actually broke the camera, so that made it very challenging. The NX. 3300 by Samsung. This is the second most recent camera they've made. They've made the 5500, which is a bit more updated and everything. Really, any of the new cameras, it has an LED monitor that can flip so you can see yourself. So it's it's like a Canon and Nikon, so you, you won't really pricing much the model. The body of it is very small, so it's not as light as a uh, We'll say your regular DSLR camera, so that's it's nice in that way. It's light. It has a body, an old SLR camera. Um, that's my old 
SLR camera that was given to me, the Necromat. It has a very similar body like that, but very light. The only thing that I wish it didn't have, it takes a micro SD card, and it the bundle came with a micro SD card. I like to have a normal SD card, because I originally thought I was going to get a normal DSLR, but I got this camera, so I was a bit surprised when I was given, when it came with a micro SD card. Because it's a little harder to import photos from the camera to the computer unless you don't have a adapter. If you don't have a adapter, go out and buy one. But thankfully it came with one. And also another surprising thing about this camera, it comes with a normal, it comes with a phone battery by Samsung. It has a very long battery life, which is very nice. So if you like a camera that lasts long, if you're going on long trips, this is a very good one. It also does video as you can tell and the highest quality goes to 180p so again another standardized thing with an SLR DSLR camera is that so that's very nice audio seems to be great so you can hear me really well I thought I was gonna have to buy um, an external mic to hook up to it so the audio would be at all but you know you don't have to do it you can if you prefer that I might prefer that at one point so I might save up to get to you know so lights beside the point I don't want to go into details if you guys really want me to go into details of I, I think you should get that NX3300 leave a com comment down below and maybe next month or by the end of December I could come out with a review on this camera tell me if you do if you want me to I will most gladly do that I'll even do an old call on my actual blog page and tumblr and Instagram but I will show some pictures of it using my girl. which leads me to my um third favorite we're gonna go with old and it is the GoPro not the original GoPro not the one that doesn't have Wi-Fi capability if I swear I need Wi-Fi this is very helpful if what you're shooting and it has a viewfinder but also that my next favorite is the GoPro Hero Silver Edition love this and it's my favorite one because how versatile it is wi-fi the wa the option to have the image size be wide so it would almost give you big ones you know, three, not 360 view but at least like 160 view and every photo that i've taken has been very high quality so i I do think you should get this camera if you like that. It's very good for if you're running around and you do sports or you do any kind of active thing and you just want to record it or do photography for it. I highly suggest this. The only con I would have to say would be just the app. The connection if you go at least 5 feet away or more, if it involves water, the connection from your phone and however for where you are in the water from it, the connection will not be that good. App's good because you can import the video or photos that you take from the camera onto your Instagram or whatever media platform, which makes it very versatile and very nice. But the thing that I really wish the Hero 3 Silver Edition, I wish that it was better in low light. I've seen a couple videos oh, with other companies making extended stuff to clip onto this thing I like the idea of it but you know I I hope GoPro finds out some way to put in a internal uh, light or something and there is some low light it is in low light like a sunset oh. you got a the sunset back of you and you want to have the light on you know subjects and everything it it gets dark on everything so I would like that to be fixed. So that's the only flaw with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition. Yes, that. I love the camera, without a doubt. I am happy I actually got one. Um, at one point, before I actually started my YouTube channel, when I was in broadcast, I used the GoPro quite a lot, depending on what I was filming. And it was very helpful in that way. Because I really wanted to get really good POV shots and, uh, yeah. I use the headband for some of the videos I did. I do suggest getting accessories and mounts and everything. I don't have that many mounts because I'm saving up for it. But yeah, I suggest investing in mounts because it's going to be helpful when you film. 
and I've seen many YouTubers and other vloggers that I really love use GoPros and I'm like gosh I wish I could film like my GoPro but the only thing that's holding me back is the mounts and the price so I wish GoPro could make just a little more affordable mounts so GoPro if you're watching it's very conflicting because if you want to have better quality stuff you gotta pay a little bit more out of your pocket but if you want more cheap stuff that's what you're gonna get and there some things on the best quality if it's it costs less so I mean it goes either way but yeah my last last favorite is a micro SD adapter two micro SD called adapt and this is the Samsung one which I use for this camera seen me use and then this, this one by transcendence both a very good quality if you guys want to keep a good life for your memory card so it doesn't get on you and get crappy and everything the key to keeping a good memory card life is always formatting every time you're uploading and ejecting your SD card out of your computer using the USB and everything. SD card slot. Yeah, you want to do that so then it just it adds extra life to that. It's self explanatory for anybody who does video now. Kind of went through everything I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys liked my favorites video for, for December and November and all the other months, and, and if you want to see more, please comment down below what you would like to see. And if you would like to see reviews, I would love to hear your opinions. If you want me to do a video that's a bit out of my comfort zone, maybe I'm kind of working on another few different challenges to film this month with a friend, another friend. I think it's my same friend, Tennis Cool Cat. I'm hoping to do another video with her, and then I might be doing another video with my sister, my younger sister. Look forward to that. Um, yeah, if you liked it, leave a comment, say what you like about it. Um, comment down below what. One of your favorites for this month. Um, what's one thing you can't live without? Yeah. Answer that question down below. What's one what thing you can't live without? And why is that? Is it because of the quality? Is it a sentimental thing? Is it a personal thing? That's good if you just don't like it. But yeah, I'm gonna go. This video's gonna be pain in the butt to edit, but it's for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys liked me rambling on about my favorite things. Keep it real, keep it sweet, and stay unique.